Kona has stated that the NCAA pays your basic needs. By I disagree because they, this co the colleges are selling their jerseys. Most of the athletes come from poor families, 86%. Being a scholarship athlete means you do not have time to get a job. A lot of times on ESPN, you might see a college athlete getting busted for selling an autograph. This wouldn't be happening if the players would get what they rightfully earned. You might also see a situation where a coach has bought a player something. It was not his intention to break the rules. He was simply helping a player in need. Considering that 86% of student athletes live in poverty, not enough money to pay athletes, I assure you there are. The NCAA makes $11 billion annually. None of that is going to the players. The players are mad in 1991 when arguably the best recruited class joined the Michigan basketball team. Players are mad about how they're being treated when it came to money. Imagine this, you're a college basketball player, you walk in the store, you see your jersey, you see someone buying it, nothing's going to you. Not even a penny. Nothing's going to the players. Athletes should be paid according to their caliber. For example, if a player's jersey gets sold, I think at least some of it should go. Many athletes would get endorsements if they're allowed to get paid. Players make lots of money for their school. People pay money to come watch them play not the coaches, not the NCAA. But they aren't receiving a penny. Does that sound fair to you? Ex-Houston soccer player Samantha Saliver says that is suing Division I athletes. She thinks that student athletes deserve at least minimum wage. She's suing hundreds and hundreds of Division I schools. The judges rules that they should be able to play at least 5,000 for the use of their images. Most of the money gotten from athletes don't even go to the college and isn't used for classrooms. Uh, this sounds fair and compassionate that they're going to give them $5,000, but really it's not. The pol there's a policy that says that the NCAA can help them pay medical bills, but this doesn't apply unless the medical bills are over $90,000. So if that's $89,000, you're on your own. Teams receive millions and millions of dollars from the NCAA when they advance deep into the brackets. Save the bill for the coaches, but you know who's not getting paid? that are actually playing. Personally, I think this is absurd, but that can be biased. It's more important is how you feel about this problem. Imagine we're two years, but, uh, but none of the money you earn is going to be. Any college athletes that make money, they need it for extra food and new clothes since there's no time for a job. And since they can't afford much, being broke is a daily inconvenience. Let's say that you were one person that needed to play, 
and you have, you're a college athlete and you play it, but you can't get money because, because you're from the roughest neighborhood in the world and your parents just can't afford to give you money. Well, the program doesn't pay for everything that students need to be a good student. Once the semester ends, where are they going to, the students going to go? To get new supplies for the school or get home for semester to see their family that they can't because they can't get a job to get up there to their house. The school's problem is that they can't get paid for a lot of the merchandises that all sell. Either school, that either, uh, sorry, their, uh, their, uh, their jerseys that they sell are worth about $41 a pair. Well, that is more than a minimum wage person ever gets. That's why the students athletes should get paid. should not be paid. They do get rewarded, and not with money. And that might be a good thing, because college students plus more money than they need probably won't end well. They do get rewarded with equipment and name brand clothes and a ton of school items like tuition, a food plan, and books, and possibly tutors if they need it. If we start paying them, they will turn into paid employees instead of student athletes. Emphasis on the student part. We're starting to put sports ahead of education. And is that really what we want for our country? A bunch of athletes running around with no education? Thank you.